Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. God bless you as you come in. Please like, comment, and share. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Sunday to you. Thank you for tuning in to uh, Powerhouse Online Ministries. God bless you. As you come in, if this is your first time, let me know that it is your first time. Put a number one up there that is indicative to your first time being here. Let us know where you are visiting us from. If you are a returning viewer, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, Mimi. God bless you. Good to see you in the cyber uh, ministry this morning. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Hallelujah. This is the day the Lord God has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. As you guys come in, please share, share, share. You like, you know what I like to say. Sharing is caring. Each one reach one. Each one reach one. So share it on your page. Wake up your, your family. Wake up your husbands. Wake up your wives. Wake up your children, your cats, your dogs. Share the page out with your friends, with your enemies. Let somebody know today that Powerhouse International Ministry is in session. God bless you. I am Apostle Karen Proctor, the founder of this online ministry under the leadership of Jesus Christ. God bless you. We are here to encourage you in the word of God. If you are not saved, we pray that you will get saved this morning, meaning making Jesus Christ the Lord of your life. If you are a backslider and you have come to this page, we pray today that you will slide back into the kingdom of God. There are several ways that you can participate excuse me, in the service of the Lord this morning. I've already given you one of those ways. That's by sharing, sharing a video out. Another way that you can share as well is by reaching across those cyber aisles. Reach across those cyber aisles. Wave to your sisters and brothers. Let them know that you are happy to see them in the online church. Another way that you can participate is putting those comments up there. If anything resonates with you, put those comments, put those thumbs up, put those hearts. This is a interactive ministry. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And lastly, I'm going to say uh, another way that you can comment is, I mean, share, <laughs> uh, participate is by uh, giving you a monetary donation. Yes, yes, yes. Everything you do for Christ will last. Anything you do outside of Christ is not going to last. In fact, the word of God says he loves a cheerful giver. He says better to give than to receive. If you in a position that you can give, you know that you are blessed. And God also says he gives seed to the sower. So even as you give today, your seed will never ever leave your life. It may leave your cash app, it may leave your zeal, it may leave your PayPal, but it will never ever leave your life. Your seed is on a godly assignment and it will yield a godly harvest. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. God also say, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that it may be meat and miles. This is the only time where God say, prove me. Other than that, we can't check God. But when it come down to tithes and often, he say, prove me now. Here where it said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open up the windows of heaven, pouring you out blessings that you don't have room enough to receive. I am a living testimony that it does work. It does work. 
Hallelujah. This online ministry is here. But God say, don't forsake the assemblance of the saints. And we are assembling today in cyberspace. Glory be to God. I thank God that he is a an awesome God, a mighty God, a creative God. Hallelujah. He knows how to get his people together. Hallelujah. Whether it's online, whether it's in person. But one thing about it, God say, don't forsake the assembling of the saints. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I don't know about you today, but I'm, I'm happy. I'm excited in my spirit. I thank God for waking me up clothing me in my right mind with the activity of my limbs. When it was time to roll out of the bed, was I really, really ready? No. But I thank God that I was able to roll out that bed to meet you here in Powerhouse International Ministries Online Ministries to serve the people of God. Hallelujah. We are here to serve God's people. I get many testimonies. Sometimes I don't even post them. But just the other day, I posted one. And I think I'm going to do that on a frequent base to let you know that God is still yet moving. God is still yet alive. And God is moving through Powerhouse International Ministries. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So God bless you, beloved. I'm so excited to have you here today. Glory be to God. Let's go before the throne of grace today. Hallelujah. And I'm going to read one passage of scripture. It's our text this morning. So if you have your Bibles, go ahead and turn. Hallelujah. And mark, uh, mark it to Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. Hallelujah. That's our text for this morning. I will be giving you more scriptures as we go along, but the text, uh, hallelujah, that we're going to stand on is to build up. Glory be to God. The word of God is Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4. So let us go before the throne of grace. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I give you thanks, praise, honor, and glory, God. I thank you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God that you've given us another opportunity to come before your, th your, your throne of grace today, Father. I pray, God, none of me but all of you, Lord God. I bind up all the interference of the enemy. I bind up the witches, the warlocks, in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind the prince of the air, every channel, every antenna, every frequency, every diabolical attack that come to bring hindrance. I rebuke you now in the mighty name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is against you. Father, I thank you. I praise you. I saturate this atmosphere with the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that you would touch the hearts and the minds of every person that will come across this broadcast today, God. I pray right now that you begin to move in the atmosphere, move in their hearts and in their minds, God, wherever they may be viewing from, God. They may be viewing from the comfort of their home, driving in their cars, hallelujah, even at work, wherever it is, God, I pray that you will touch them right now, God. I pray that you will move in a mighty way, Father, upon them, God. I pray, Father, that they will Will begin to feel your presence hallelujah that they will know that you are real hallelujah and i submit this service to you father hallelujah in the mighty name of jesus amen amen and all those that love the lord come on let's say amen hallelujah glory be to god glory be to god Hallelujah. Let's go straight to Philippians chapter 4, verse 4, whereby we build our uh, message. Amen. Philippians 4 and 4 says, Rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. Hallelujah. Rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So what is joy? What is joy? If I had to define it by the dictionary definition, I would say that joy is a feeling of great pleasure and happiness. Joy is a feeling of great pleasure 
and happiness. Hallelujah. Let me just put the disclaimer out there. I don't own the rights to the music, but I use it just to enhance the atmosphere. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So just go right where you are and just begin to give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. Just begin to worship him right there where you are. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. E con de de co rabashande. Rande de co rebesi con dorobosha. God, you say, make a joyful noise before the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. Make a joyful noise. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost, we ask that you will wake up the people. Glory be to God. We pray that you will send the people, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we just thank you for joy this morning, unspeakable joy, a feeling of great pleasure and happiness. Now, I do understand that some people only can feel joy when things are going good for them. You know, we got some kind of fair weather saints sometimes, fair weather, come on, hallelujah, they only jump on the bandwagon when something is going good, hallelujah, but that's why uh, Paul, the great apostle Paul said in the book of Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4, he says, rejoice, and again I said, rejoice, hallelujah, good morning, Stephanie, good morning, good morning, Hallelujah. I believe that's my classmate. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming in. Glory be to God. We're talking about joy this morning. Let your joy remain. Let your joy remain. And I realize to know, and I know that you know this as well. Glory be to God. There is a lot going on in the world. There is a lot going on in the world. Come on. Hallelujah. We have the continuous uh, saga of the COVID uh, virus. And now all of these different uh, variances are popping up. Glory be to God. And, and it's been taking some people joy from them. Amen. This is why the Apostle Paul says, rejoice and again i said rejoice that's double annunciation so every anytime you see double annunciation that means that it's trying to get your attention it means that they are saying it amen hallelujah so it can really get your attention we have so much going on in the world today like i said the continuous saga of the uh, virus uh, that's popping up with these different variances, even though people are being, um, what you call it, vaccinated from it. Some people are still getting the virus, even after being vaccinated. I even know people that have caught it for the second time. Hallelujah. The second time. And this is not being vaccinated. So they thinking that, uh, once it's in your system, that your own immune system is going to build up against it. But we come to find out that's not even true. Glory be to God, because people are being hit for the second time. And then we have what the gas prices are being inflated. Prices are just really, really going up. It's all kind of stuff going on that would try to pull your joy from you. If you have not shared the video yet, do me a favor. Be my cyber evangelist by uh, taking this video and sharing it on your page, share it in your groups. That way we can get more of the word spread it out. Somebody need to be reminded today, hallelujah, about the joy of the Lord. Glory be to God. We talked about the viruses, the gas prices uh, being inflated. Glory be to God. Now we hear about the uh, Olympics and some of the some of the uh, athletes that are not able to uh, function like the young girl, the tennis star 
didn't want to go on and perform in, in, a, in another uh, match because she just felt like she didn't have it together mentally. Glory be to God. We don't know what's causing people to break down today. That's why we need to stay wrapped up, tangled up in Jesus. And even when we are wrapped up, tangled up in Jesus, some things are going to come our way. But if we know about the joy of the Lord, come on, hallelujah, it will not move us it will not shake us yes stephanie mental illness glory be to god even the uh gymnast could not perform in her uh one-on-one -on -one competition because she felt like she just couldn't do it her mental capacity and we see today a lot of people are acknowledging hallelujah the mental breakdown glory be to god what wouldn't break you down will break somebody else down what would steal your joy may not steal somebody else joy but i came today hallelujah as a servant of god the humble servant of god to share with you this word, hallelujah, to encourage you on your journey. Glory be to God to remind you about the joy of the Lord. Let your joy remain. Somebody may be going through on a job. You may be going through in your family, but the word of the Lord for you today is let the joy of the Lord remain. Come on. Hallelujah. Through everything that's taking place in the world on a on a global stage, notwithstanding those personal things in our life. Come on. Hallelujah. Can I get a witness today in the online service? Come on. Hallelujah. Have there been some things that has come your way? Hallelujah. If I was speaking to business people, I would say, has there been some things that come across your desk? Come on, hallelujah. Have you gotten an email, glory be to God, that would try to un unravel you? Glory be to God. If I was talking to the saints of God today, I would say, hallelujah. Have anything entered into your, your home? Come on, hallelujah. That would try to unravel you today. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Sometimes we try to make like it's not happening. Glory be to God. But it is happening. But what God say to you today. Glory be to God. Let your joy remain through everything that is happening. Glory be to God. Sometimes we tend to think that it's only happening in our house, on our job, in our business, in my church, in our ministry, in your marriage only. Come on. Hallelujah. But we know what it's written. The Lord has already told us if we read his word, he said that the enemy come to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, but I am come that you may have life and that you may have it more abundantly. Come on. How can we have abundant life? That's if we trust God no matter what we are going through. Come on. Like Stephanie says, yes, we have storms. Come on. Yes, we have storms in our life. Glory be to God. But God has given us power to even rebuke the storm. We talked about peace on last Sunday. Hallelujah. Even in the storms of life. We see Jesus as an example where he say, peace be still. Hallelujah. And that storm had to settle down. Glory be to God. So whatever storm, glory be to God, that has come your way last week, even today, maybe last month or this year that you are still battling with, glory be to God, let your joy remain. Hallelujah. Can I tell you, if we are not careful, we can fall prey to Satan's game. Hallelujah. To villainize us in any way possible. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. How could he villainize us in any way possible? That's if we lose our joy. That's if we lose our joy. But come on, saints. We don't plan to, to lose our joy. Hallelujah. God has brought us safe this far on the way. Hallelujah. Can I tell you, you can make it. You can make it. Glory be to God. Though the storms of life are raging, 
Come on. Hey, I believe that was Clay Evans. Glory be to God that say, though the storms of life are raging, glory be to God, but we got an anchor. Glory be to God that we can hold on to. We have an anchor. Come on. Anybody out there in the online church today, glory be to God. Do you have an anchor today? Come on. That anchor is Jesus. Come on. We should let our anchor grip the solid rock. Who is the solid rock? The solid rock is Jesus. Come on. We have an anchor today in Jesus. Glory be to God. Clay, I believe it was Clay Evans that say, though the billows roar. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He say, but I, 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 I got an anchor. Glory be to God. Anchor in Jesus. Glory be to God. So I've given you the, uh, the dictionary definition of joy, a feeling of great pleasure and happiness. But let me tell you the, the real deal of joy. Hallelujah. There are nine gifts. Hallelujah. Of nine fruit of the Spirit. Yeah, nine gifts of the Spirit, but nine fruit of the Spirit. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And can I tell you those nine fruit of the Spirit? Hallelujah. Includes joy. If you will go to Galatians chapter 5 and verse 22. Glory be to God for those of you that are taking notes, that have your, your, your Bible in front of you. Those of you Bible scholars, you already know. Glory be to God that the Holy Spirit has given us fruit of the Spirit. And one of those is joy. Glory be to God. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 say, but the fruit of the Spirit is love. The second one is joy. Hallelujah. Joy. So the Spirit, hallelujah, gives us these fruit. Hallelujah. This joy that we have, hallelujah, that the Holy Spirit has given unto us, this joy, the world did not give it, and the world cannot take it away. Even though we see a lot of things taking place among us. Hallelujah. In our personal lives. Glory be to God in our neighborhood, in our community. But we have to be reminded, hallelujah, that the Holy Spirit has given us the fruit of the Spirit. Hallelujah. And one of those is joy. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So if you feel your joy is leaving you in the midst of a situation, in the midst of a day, hallelujah, during, during the course of your day. Thank you, Mimi, for posting that there. Like I like to say, sometimes you can always go back and review these messages. Come on. Hallelujah. To encourage you. That's why we like to post the scripture. Just in case you don't remember, it's there. In the midst of your day, through everything that's going on, where the enemy is trying to villain, villainize you and take you off your game, you got to remember the scripture. The, the word the scripture is the sword of the spirit. Come on. Hallelujah. We're not wrestling with flesh and blood. We're not wrestling with that co-worker, that supervisor. We're not wrestling with that neighbor. We're not wrestling with that man. Hallelujah. In the park, I wasn't wrestling with that lady that was demon possessed in the park on yesterday. Glory be to God. I, I recognize it was a demon spirit in her and I did not allow her to steal my joy. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So I want to say to you, you can always go back and, and lean on the scripture. It is the sword of the spirit. It is what you fight with. You fight with the word of God. Heaven and earth will pass away, but not one jot of the word. He said that he will make a new heaven and a new earth, but not one jot of his word is going away. So when you feel like... Uh, 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 the spirit of doom and gloom and all that is coming upon you, you better reach for the 
the uh the fruit of joy oh pour it on me holy spirit pour it on me hallelujah you have given me this fruit and jesus also say that they should know you by the fruit that you bear come on somebody hallelujah glory be to god i don't care what is going on around us mm. We, we are reminded of Philippians 4 and 4 again. Hallelujah. Paul told the people in that day, rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. Glory be to God. You got bad news? Rejoice. Glory be to God. You're going through? Rejoice. Come on. Start a praise party. Start a praise party. Say party over here. Party over here. Yeah, you're not negating the fact of the news that you have gotten. You are not negating the fact of the turmoil that may be going on in your life. But sometimes you got to you got to confuse the enemy. Come on. Hallelujah. You confuse him. Hallelujah. By standing on the word of God. Hallelujah. By praising God. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's what you say. That's what you think. But hallelujah. Glory be to God. God, I praise you. Party over here. Hi. Glory be to God. God, I know you coming through. Glory be to God. God, I know you got this. Hallelujah. Praise party. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Praise him. Hallelujah. In the midst of the storm, not just because, hallelujah, everything is going right. Oh, mortgage paid, rent paid, utility paid, children acting right. Come on. No, 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 no. We praise him even in the midst of the storm. Let your joy remain. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I, I want to encourage you today. To let your joy remain. I want to just give you some scripture. Glory be to God that you can stand on today. Hallelujah. This week, the rest of your life. And somebody may be saying, Apostle Proctor, that may be easy for you to say. Glory be to God. Yes. Why? Because I have tried it and it works. So anytime it works for me, I'm going to tell you about it. You know how sometimes we go to a great restaurant, a restaurant that we thought was good. Hallelujah. And then we post our pictures. We want to tell everybody. We want to tell our friends, Lottie Dottie and everybody. Girl, you need to go over here. You know, when you find a good hairdresser, you, oh, you need to try my hairdresser. Come on. Hallelujah. Whatever you find good, you want to share it. Hallelujah. So why not share the word of God? Hallelujah. I have tested it. Hallelujah. And it's been proven. Hallelujah. In my life. Glory be to God. So where and how do we find this joy? What I want to tell you. What Psalms verse 16 and 11 says, I'm reading from the English Standard Version. All the scriptures I'm giving today is coming from the ESV. Come on, hallelujah. Psalm 16 and 11 says, hallelujah, you make known to me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. At your right hand, our pleasures evermore. Come on. Hallelujah. That's where and how we are going to find joy. Hallelujah. You make known to me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. So guess what? You got to get in God's presence so that you can get the fullness of joy. Hallelujah. He say, at your right hand, there is pleasure evermore. It is just that easy. Glory be to God. You don't have to wait till you, you get among everybody. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You just get into the presence of the Lord. He say, in his presence. Hallelujah. There is fullness of joy. There's no shortage of joy when we get in God's presence. He say, there is fullness of joy and pleasure evermore. Glory be to God. So even we know, I said earlier that the enemy come to do what? Still kill and to destroy. You can be on assignment from for the Lord. You can be right where God want you in life. Hallelujah. You can be doing everything. Hallelujah. That God has 
called you to do, whether it's to be a wife, to be a mother, work on that job, live in that community, hallelujah, take part in that business, take part in that ministry. You can be right smack in the in the will of God, in the middle of God. And there is always going to be somebody or something that come to steal your joy. Come on. Do I have a witness today? Have you ever experienced that today? Too many times the saints believe that because I'm right in the middle of the will of God. It doesn't that it means that nothing will happen to me. Glory be to God. But see, that's where the enemy is going to come. Hallelujah. To try to throw you off course. Glory be to God. This is why God want to share this with you. Come on. Hallelujah. I remember Nehemiah being right in the center of the will of God. Here come to uh here come these guys that come to unravel the work. Hallelujah. Of building the wall. Come on. Hallelujah. But we like to quote the scripture, but we got to learn the circumstances around it. Come on, somebody. We got to know the circumstances around it. Nehemiah didn't let the enemy, hallelujah, interfere with what God called him to do. Amen. Hallelujah. He probably got a little discouraged. Hallelujah. But he kept on going. And this is what we will find Nehemiah saying and Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10. Glory be to God. We love to quote this sometimes. Amen. Hallelujah. What did Nehemiah say? Then he said to them, go your way, eat the fat and drink the sweet wine and send portions to everyone who has nothing ready. For this day is holy to our Lord. Can I tell you today is holy to our Lord. And do not be grieved. Glory be to God. I'm telling you today, don't let the enemy grieve you. Glory be to God. For what did Nehemiah say? This part we like to quote. He said, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Oh, come on, somebody. The joy of the Lord is your strength. See, when you lose the joy of the Lord, you lose your strength. Come on. Hallelujah. Wait, work your way through that thing. Work your way through that thing. Hallelujah. By hallelujah, allowing the joy of the Lord to be your strength. Yes, yes, yes. Nehemiah was under attack. Yes, people came to attack the work of God. Yes, there were some people that was part of this building project that did not want to to uh, do what the man of God required them to do. Come on. Hallelujah. I can be discouraged. Hallelujah. Sometimes glory be to God. When I look out, glory be to God. But guess what? I have to allow the joy of the Lord to be my strength. No matter who come, no matter who participate, no matter who lift up my hand, no matter who give, come on, hallelujah, because I know that this is what God called me to do. So I have to allow the joy of the Lord to be my strength. Sometimes you feel like, hallelujah, all hope is gone. God, really? Is this what you call me to? God, is this where you want me? And then sometimes you have to say, yes, God, I know it. I know it. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I just have to do what I said earlier. Turn that thing around into a praise party. Lord God, I praise you. God, I bless you. God, I adore you. God, I magnify your name. God, you're sweeter than honey on a honeycomb. God, you are the best. God, you're all knowing. You're all seeing. You're all powerful. God, I thank you today. Lord, I thank you today. You are from everlasting to everlasting. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got to work your way into a praise party. Hallelujah. Because if you look out around you sometime, glory be to God, you would, you would lose your strength. Hallelujah. To do and be what God called you to do and be. Glory be to God. So what are we going to do? Hallelujah. We're going to rejoice and rejoice. Come on. Hallelujah. What are we going to do? We're going to stay in the presence of God. Come on. Hallelujah. To fill ourselves up. When you feel like you're being deep. Uh, depleted of joy. 
Glory be to God. What you're going to do? You're going to run into the presence of God. That's where, hallelujah, you're going to find your joy. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You're going to be reminded that the Holy Spirit gives us the fruit of the Spirit. Hallelujah. And one of them are joy. Even when you are building, come on, hallelujah. Sometimes people, let's just talk about me. Come on, hallelujah. Sometimes people look at you and they, they look at your stats. Come on. Hallelujah. They, they're they looking at something that they don't even understand. Hallelujah. And they will tell you, girl, you just well throw in the towel. Hallelujah. If I was you, I won't keep going with that. Oh, you think God called you to this? Oh, well, why this ain't changed yet? Why that ain't changed yet? Glory be to God. But baby, I am the one that heard from God with my assignment. And that's why I have to keep on going and keep on going and be like brother Nehemiah and let hallelujah my joy remain come on hallelujah the joy of the Lord is my strength how can I keep coming back Sunday after Sunday how do I go back and refresh myself to go back for Thursday midday breakthrough hour because I know that it is God that called me and at the end of my journey here on earth I want to hear him say well done my good and faithful servant I don't want him to say oh you looked at the stats you let what the people say detour you. Oh, I'm not. Um, uh, get away from me, you unprofitable servant. I want him to say, baby, glory be to God. I saw you. You gave it all that you have. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Come on. Hallelujah. Can I tell you, we're going to go through some things. Hallelujah. I believe that I got some people here in the online ministry today are of a mature age. And when I say that, that means that you have came across some things in your life already. Come on. And you know that it had to be God that has kept you. Glory be to God. You know that it has been God that has kept you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. My cousin was reminding me. One of my cousins was reminding me the other day. Mm. Excuse me. One of my cousins was reminding me uh, the other day. Well, last week, because this is a new week. Uh, she said, remember... I, I, I had a Honda Accord way back then, way back then, say about 20 years ago, 18 years ago, something, something like that. And I was in a major accident on I-95 and that the back of that car was smashed up so bad, but it was still drivable. <laughs> they, they, uh, the car had to be towed to the, to the pound. Okay. And at that time, financially, I wasn't doing my best. I wasn't doing my best. So I could not, and I had just took off the full coverage insurance off that car. Just the PIP or whatever the state required. So guess what? I could not get that car fixed. But I was laying in my bed, and I heard the Holy Spirit say, go get your car out of that pond. And I'm like, oh, that car smashed up. That car don't even work. But I thank God for being obedient to the Holy Spirit. I went to the pond, got a ride to the, to the uh, it was in pond. So went there, got my key, cranked the car up. The car was still dry. <laughs> Oh, Lordy, sometimes, baby, let me tell you, you're going to go through some things in this life. Glory be to God, but you got to let your joy remain. Yes, you may cry and shed a tear. Hallelujah. But God will give you strength. When you really, really have that relationship with God, you're going to look up. What does Psalmist say? Look towards the hills from which cometh your help. Your help come from the Lord that made the heaven and the earth. He will not suffer your foot to be moved. In all of that, all I can do is look up to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Can I tell you, long story short, that car cranked up. It was smashed up, but it cranked up. And I think I drove that car. <laughs> I think I 
ain't got drove that car for like a year. And my daughter say, Mom, I used to be ashamed when you dropped me off to school. The people used to say, the kids used to say, your mom ain't got her car fixed yet. <laughs> but guess what? I couldn't do all that. I couldn't pay mortgage and, and, and take care of children and, and utilities and lunch money and, and parking fees and after school fees and all of that. But I was just thanking God that the car was still drivable. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I remember a woman called me. Hallelujah. Where I was working at the time. I just started working there. And she just wanted to really, really know my business. Being nosy. She called me and said, oh, I got your number from the boss. And she said, I just wanted to know more about you. Because you're so quiet. And she said, and I wanted to know. Uh, how could a woman of God be driving a car like that? She really wanted to know, was I really a woman of God? Come on. Hallelujah. But see, I had the joy of the Lord on the inside of me. My joy was, God, I thank you that this car is still drivable. No, it may be a little smashed up, but God, I thank you. God, I praise you. God, I thank you that I can still get the work. I can still go to the grocery store. God, I ain't got to call nobody. Give me a ride. God, I thank you. See, she didn't understand the joy of the Lord. She had this little pseudo uh, picture in her mind about what a woman of God should look like. Come on. But God got all in her business that night. I still remember that. God got all in her, her, her business that night. Come on. She called me to try to find out about me. I didn't know her by Adam's, uh, like Adam's house cat. Like the people say, come on somebody. Hallelujah. Only thing I knew was her name. Hallelujah. Because I just stopped working there, but she called to in inquire about me is this are you a woman of god well and she had the nerve to be bold if you're a woman of god i was wondering why you dropped that car and god say baby let me tell you i'm a i'm gonna give this woman of god information all about you that only the holy spirit can give her and you gonna know tonight that this is a woman of god come on hallelujah i be i remember god beginning to tell me what a husband name is and everything and she began to say i still remember the name because it was the name of one of my cousins hallelujah i began to ask her who is vincent and she went oh, you know my husband no i don't know your husband but god is telling me now and he began to give me information regarding her and vincent and she began to cry on the phone ah, ah, and she said she was living mama mama guess what this this lady that i work with she knew a Vincent name. She knew this and that. Why? Because I, yes, I was a woman of God. Yes, I'm still a woman of God. So guess what? You're going to go through some things in life. It doesn't mean that God is not with you. Sometimes what you go through is for a testimony to somebody else. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So what I went through was a testimony for her and many people. And God knew that he can trust me. Hallelujah to be in that situation. Like my cousin was saying, girl, you drove that car and you were still coming to, to church with that car. You were still preaching, coming to church and everything. I'm like, yes, because God didn't tell me, Karen, because your car is smashed up. Hallelujah that, oh, now what? You supposed to close the church? You can't go there no more? The devil is a liar. That's why the Holy Spirit spoke to me that day laying in my bed. Go to the pond. Go get a ride to get to the pond to get your car. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. See, baby, you're going to be tested in some things. Glory be to God. But you got to let your joy remain. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Can I tell you some years after that? Hallelujah. I got one car. Glory be to God. And then after that car, hallelujah, God, God allowed me to pay that car off in three years. A new car. Hallelujah. Where they do that at? With somebody that's not rich. Mm. God say, you know what? Great is your reward. Great is your reward. Hallelujah. The car you want, I'm giving it to you. Glory be to God, and I'm going to make it, hallelujah, where it's paid off in three years. Come on, 
Hallelujah. Where they do that at? Hallelujah. I'm not talking about rich people. I'm talking about ordinary, everyday people. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So, so James even tell us, the apostle James, hallelujah. Yes, he did, Stephanie. God did give me the spirit of patience. I've had people to tell me that. <laughs> My last job I was working at the county uh, was another uh, pastor there. He came to my desk one day and he said to me, he said, Karen, you got the patience of Job. And I just fell out laughing. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Why? Because God knew. Glory be to God. The things that I was going to go through, the things that I was going to be faced with. Hallelujah. That's why it's important to have the fruit of the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So James tells us what? He said, count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet the trials of various kinds. For you know that the, that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect that you may be perfect, complete, and having nothing. Come on. Hallelujah. But what he says at the top, he said, count it all joy, my sisters and my brothers. Glory be to God, because you, you're going to go through something. But he says what? Count it all joy. Count it all joy. I want to leave you with this today. Glory be to God. How is it? How is it that the writers of these various sacred writings were able to encourage us through their writings on this topic of joy? Could it be that they experience situations similar to what we are facing? Hallelujah. Or maybe situations that was even more grievous. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Could it be that they experienced these things? Or could it be they was dealing with people that were going through things? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. That's why they would challenge us through the scripture on joy. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And I'm going to challenge you today to find your, your, your place of joy. Find your place of joy. Glory be to God. Don't be moved by what you see. Yes, you may be going through some things. Glory be to God. But what did uh, Paul say to the Philippian church today? The church at Philippi again. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you this. I'm, I'm challenging those that are in the online church today, whether you're coming back to the replay, whether you're going to watch it on YouTube, let your joy remain. Paul says rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. Come on. Hallelujah. The psalmist even says in Psalms 30 and 5, he say, but his anger is but for a moment. Hallelujah. And his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may tarry for the night, but joy coming in the morning. Yes, you may have a night season, but it don't stay night always. Come on. Joy come in the morning. Hallelujah. So no matter what you are going through, no matter what you are experiencing today, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let your joy remain. Let your joy remain. Remember, hallelujah, that like Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10 says, hallelujah, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah, Sister Stephanie, no matter what you are going through, no matter what trials you come your way, I want to encourage you today, glory be to God, to let your joy remain. Stay focused. Sister Mimi, hallelujah, likewise. I challenge you today, no matter what opposition come from the enemy, glory be to God, let your joy remain. Hallelujah. You got to know that the world did not give it to you and the world should not be able to take it away. You got to fight for your joy. Come on. Hallelujah. The adversary Satan, he goes about. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. First Peter, I believe it's five and eight. Say, Satan, the adversary goes about seeking whomever he may devour. But we can't let him devour us. Come on. Hallelujah. God placed us where he 
uh, wanted to place us. Come on. God has uh, entrusted in our care the things that he has given to us. Come on. Hallelujah. You got to fight. Remember I say the word of God is the sword of the spirit. Sometimes you got to walk around your house no matter if your husband think you're crazy, your wife think you're crazy, your dog, your cat may get nervous, your children may think you're crazy, but baby, sometimes you got to walk from room to room, go upstairs, downstairs, hallelujah, to the family room, through the kitchen, every bathroom, and you got to just shout the word of God. You got to shout glory, hallelujah, glory be to God, even as you're driving, glory be to God. You may be driving to a job where you say, God, I'm not in, in for this today, but hallelujah, glory be to God. You got to fight for your joy, glory be to God, hallelujah. This is going to be a good day. The weapons of my warfare are not carnal, for they are mighty through God for the pulling down of stronghold. Every stronghold that come my way, glory be to God, I pull it down today, hallelujah, and I bring it to the obedience. I disarm the enemy today, glory be to God, I disarm you today, and I bring it to the obedience of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Can I tell you yesterday morning when I woke up and I realized it's it was a new month, August, August 1st. Glory be to God. And I begin to walk, hallelujah, throughout my home. Glory be to God. And I begin to decree and declare, hallelujah, there is a fresh anointing in this home for a new month. Glory be to God. There's fresh blessings fresh anointing. Glory be to God from room to room, square inch to square inch. Glory be to God. There are new blessings, new joy, new anointing. Hallelujah. To be with me in this new month. Glory be to God. You may have to do like I did. Hallelujah. I mock my place. I mock my territory. Glory be to God with the word of God. Hallelujah. So guess what? Whatever try to come my way. Glory be to God. The barricade, the block is already there. I block you with the word of God. I'm going to have joy. Glory be to God. I'm not going to be tormented. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So let's pray. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We bless you. We honor you, God. We thank you that you have given us this day and this time that we can break the bread of life, that we can be among the brethren, even here in cyberspace. God, we thank you. Hallelujah for this platform that you have given us. Oh God, hallelujah, that we can fellowship with one another. God, we thank you for the uh, fruit of joy. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit fruit of joy and peace that we talked about on last Sunday, that it will resonate in our hearts, in our minds, in our life, in our family. Lord God, we bind up every tormenting spirit, every tormenting assignment, every word curse, every spirit of disruption that come from the enemy that would try to wreak havoc in our life. Lord, I thank you that you have given us the power, hallelujah, to stand, hallelujah, on the surface serpent and the scorpion and nothing by any means shall harm us. Father, we take authority in the mighty name of Jesus. We rebuke all the plans, the strategy of the enemy that will come, hallelujah, to our family, oh God, even in our neighborhood, in our life, God. We rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus and we loose, hallelujah, joy, 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 unspeakable joy, to go with us wherever we go in the mighty name of Jesus, that we will be a testimony for you, Father. Hallelujah. No matter what we are going through, hallelujah, that our joy would remain, that we may be a testimony for you, God. Even as people look at us sometimes and wonder, hallelujah, why we haven't lost it. Hallelujah, that we can testify because we know, hallelujah, that our joy and our strength come from the Lord. God, we just thank you. Hallelujah. Now unto him, hallelujah, that is able to give us glory. Hallelujah. Who is able to keep us from falling away and bring us, hallelujah, great joy into his glorious presence without a single fault. All glory to him. Who alone is God our Savior 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. All glory, majesty, power, and authority are his before all time and in his presence and beyond all time. And let all those that love the Lord say amen and amen, amen. Well, God bless you, beloved. It was a pleasure having you here with me in Powerhouse International Ministry uh, online service. God bless you. Make it a great day and happy new month to you. May the blessings of the Lord overtake you, overshadow you this month from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Hallelujah. Whatever it is that you need. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Beyond materialism. Hallelujah. May you find it in Christ Jesus. God bless you until we meet again. Bye for now. All right, Mimi. Take care.